Hello and welcome to this video on the second counselling for uh, Telangana MSET examination for engineering. In this video, we will be talking about the do's and don'ts of second counselling, how the process works and what you need to do to stand a chance to get into better colleges and branch of your choice. Right? Firstly, I would like to congratulate all Spark Academy students for securing a seat. I'm very happy to inform you that almost 98% of Spark Academy students have secured seats in some colleges or the other. And out of that, many of them are, have got an admission into top 10 colleges. However, this second counseling is very important for many of you. Because even though some of you might be in top 10, you would like to go to top 5. If you are in top 15, you would like to go to top 10. If you are in top 20, you would like to reach that top 15 mark. Right? And also, there were a lot of mistakes which some of you did while giving the options. And I will be talking all of about that in detail. Right? So, let's get started with it. So, first things first. Why should you apply for second counselling? It is obvious that, firstly, to get a better college, right and to reassess that means what you need to see whether whatever seat you got whether you are happy with it or you want to change you have a change in heart suppose you have chosen CSE or IT you want to change to mechanical this is a good opportunity to do that right and then also we will finally see what are the do's and don'ts and some frequently asked questions which I'm getting in the comments. I will be talking about that. Right. So in order to apply for the second counseling, firstly, you should see which college did you get right in the allotment. Like when you were giving web options. Right. And when you took a printout of that, in that print, you would have got one, two, three, four like this. You would have given all colleges. And you would have given some options, right? Let us say you gave 100 options like this. And let us say that your, your allotment was the 10th preference. The 10th preference, let us say, was Gokaraju, Rangaraju, ECE. That is where it stopped. That means what? The above 15 choices, you didn't clear that cutoff, right? So, you would have got the 60th position of Gokaraju ECE. So, that means what? The above 15 priority choices, whatever you gave, you gave on the basis of priority, right? So, yeah, you the whatever are the top, those ones... You did not get because you missed the cutoff. So, first step what you need to do is, you need to do a research. Now, I will show you how to do the research properly to see where you missed the cutoff. Right? So, for that purpose, what you need to do is, you need to visit the MSET website as you can see. And you need to click on the college wise allotment details. This will give you an important cue as to where you miss the seat. Suppose your dream college was let us say CBIT. So you have to scroll down CBIT and let us say you were looking for computer science engineering branch. So there you can click on look at allotments and then here you can see you can also sort it by caste. So if you click on this, you can sort it by caste and let us say you are a general category student and you want to see the cutoff, right? So this is how the rank. So you can check the rank and you can see where computer science cutoff for a general category stopped. So you can see here for an OC student, 
it was around 11,000. So you can see here for an OC student, it was 8,000, 11,000. So suppose let us say your rank was something close to 11, uh, uh, sorry, your rank was something close to 1,200. The cutoff here you observed for a general OC category, female or male, right, was around, let us say, 844. That was the cutoff. So that means what? In the next counseling, that means you would have missed the seat narrowly. So like this, whatever options you have given, you check the cutoff depending on the reservation. Check the cutoff. Check the cutoff. So you will know where you stand. So if those ranks are close, let us say third, fourth, fifth options which you gave are close to your rank. That means what you have a chance in the second counseling. Let us understand what second counseling is all about, right? So as of now, second counseling means whatever are the leftover seats. Why, why will a seat be left over? There are various factors to it. The first factor is people might have not taken admission, not confirmed. And second reason is they would have gotten into some IIT or NIT. Some IIT, NIT or other private colleges they might have got. So the seat was vacant. So whatever are the remaining seats just before the second counselling they will issue a notification. So once they issue a notification you know okay this college, this branch, these many seats are left. Right. So accordingly you can give your options again. So again your web options will open. So now what you are expected to do is previously you would have given 100 options or 200 options. Now you have to only give the best or the better options than the college you got. Suppose let us say Gokaraju EC is what you got and you are targeting CSC branch. So what you need to do is you need to give CSE branches of colleges which are better than Gokaraju. So you would be giving only CBIT, Vasavi, of course, Osmania, JNTU, CBIT, Vasavi, Srinidhi and VNR probably. Right? Those should be the only options we should, which you should give. Correct? And again, Web options will automatically open. Those who have registered already applied for first counseling, already got an allotment, you should give only the best or better colleges. So once you give this, right, you, you may or may not get a seat. For those of you who have paid the fees already, you need not worry. Suppose let us say first counseling you got in Gokaraju ECA. Second counseling you have put all these colleges and after the second count, the round of web options, you are getting Srinidhi EC. Right? So, your Gokaraju seat will be cancelled and you will automatically get Srinidhi EC. And whatever fees you have paid there will get transferred here. Right? Suppose, let us say you get into CBIT. Obviously, CBIT fees is more than Gokaraju fee. So only the balance amount, whatever is remaining, suppose let us say you paid 1 lakh for Gokaraju, CBIT fees is let us say 2 lakhs. That means that difference of 1 lakh is what you need to pay. And those who are eligible scholarship students, other reservation category students, EBC students, if you are not paying in the first counselling, then again there is high chance that you need not pay in the second counselling as well. So this is for students who already got an allocation, they have already booked the seat, paid the fees and they have self-reported also. Now what about those students who did not get any allocation? If you did not get any allocation, then you have to give. So here you have to give only 30 to 40 options, which are better. You should only give better colleges. Suppose let us say you gave the option you got into Gokaraju. But let us say fourth, fifth option, you give Mala Reddy and you get the EC seat, right? Then your Gokaraju seat gets cancelled and you are allocated Mala Reddy. 
So I'm just giving you an example because Gokaraju is considerably better than this college. So you have to be very careful while giving the choices in the second option. So for those who did not get an allocation, despite my repeated requests in the last video, some of you give only few options and you did not get an allocation. So you should not take a risk at all. You need to give all top 20 colleges minimum of 200 options you need to give. Okay. So you need to again give it like the first counseling. If you have missed my video, you can watch it. So you can just give number, numbering, all of that you can do. And this is how you can give the options again. And finally, those who could not, for whatever reason, could not apply for this uh, uh, first counseling, you can still get your verification done through second counseling. So you can get your verification, then you will get your ID, you have to generate the password and accordingly you can get it. So in this way, you can do, you can give the this thing for second counseling. Now let us run through some important dates because people have been asking me. So again, if you go to the website, you see the notification, right? Once you open the notification, you will know the dates. Now, payment of tuition fee and self-reporting has been completed by today. And I hope all of you have done it. Now, you need to fill the basic information. So, those who have already applied for first counseling need not attend the certificate verification again. Right? So, you can directly excise the options. 30th to 31st is when you can, you are only given two days. And then 31st, you can, free options will be frozen. And then your, you will get your allotment by second. Yes. And many of you have asked me to comment about the new branches in the comments I received. So any branch related to CSE is good. So the new branches you can consider. Again, it depends on various factors like your interests. So again, if you want to know the cutoffs of new branches, again, I showed you how to you check it. You have to choose the college, choose the branch, you will get your cutoff according to your reservation category right so be alert be smart apply for the second counseling to improve your chances of getting into top colleges so if you have already got a good college apply for even better if you haven't got any allotment apply for all please don't take any chances and be smart with your choices guys I once again thank all of you for your great response in the first counseling and I want to make sure that all of you do well in the second counseling. Please feel free to leave the comments if you have any doubts. I will be more than happy to answer it. Thanks a lot guys for joining the session and I hope these sessions are useful for you.